Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So in this video, I'm gonna just share with you guys a thought of mine. You know, like a story time. Me just being me. You know, sharing my thoughts, posting it, so it can always be stamped. Always be somewhere where I can go back to it. You know, and show my love thoughts my envisions that i see for the future that happened before it happened but anyways basically what i'm saying is guys before this robot situation came about i already was telling people how robots is going to come in and take over the world basically they was going to come in and basically do what humans is already doing it even go deeper down a rabbit hole than that some of the people now that you see today are actually, actually fake they actually are robots already out here. Believe it or not, the government is always way ahead of time. The stuff that we see when we start to see it is already being put out here, but you just weren't knowledgeable. They didn't make the announcement that it was out here. If that doesn't make sense, it soon eventually will, guys. But anyways, what I'm saying, though, exactly what this robot situation is, what they doing and what's happening with the world is, the world is drastically shifting, guys, right under our eyes, right under our nose. But we can actually see it, though. It's like right in front of us. And with that being said, the economy is in fear. They is in fear of keeping the world circulating how it usually circulates. With the internet coming around, it messed up. You know, it messed up the, the, the game plan. The game plan was to keep people in a cycle. Whenever you go to school, school is organized and colleges is to make you be a worker bee. Regardless if it's a high income job, low income job, or mid income job, it's all designed to keep you in societies, uh in societies palm of their hand to keep the world going like everything you can go to school for and do is in order to make the world go keep going around we need teachers we need doctors we need lawyers we need some people that drop out and have to work at mcdonald's or, or do the janitor work or do the trash we need all these people we need these statistics to happen in order to make the world function but whenever the internet came about and people is learning from other people's experiences and speeding up their process and able to become you know way more smarter able to so many opportunities coming about on the internet so many ways coming about now on top of the ways that was already here it's coming for us to make money even faster and stuff which is then you know all this stuff happening at a rapid pace that's then causing uh, a panic attack to the economy as a whole because the world won't be able to function right if workers and people become more independent and don't need to rely on the government or the regular old traditional system way of living if they don't rely on that anymore, it's going to be chaos and we're not going to be able to, you know, live an ordinary lifestyle and have someone there for every service that we need in life right now. Right now, we're spoiled. Everything that you need, you have someone to your duty to come do it. If you need your roof fixed, you got somebody to call. If you need a, the dog shit picked up out of the yard, you got somebody to call. If you need your hair done, you got somebody to call. If you need this, you need that. You need a cake baked a certain way, you got somebody to call. For any little task you need, you got somebody to call. But that soon eventually could fade away from, you know, the lower, lower income level jobs, the easier it becomes to be able to make money. People is not going to want to do that. So the government know this. They is already ahead of the game. They already probably foreseed it, that they plan was kind of sabotaged when they made the internet get as powerful as it became. So with that being said, guys, now with these robots coming into play, they is really about to take a lot of people out of their jobs because they doing it in a fear tactic, but also they could use it as leverage to like have a one up on everybody. Then for the fact that now they kind to need you they need you to work for them to keep the world functioning but whenever these robots come into play the, the tables will turn they won't need you anymore you will need them more than they need you because they got a robot that can now replace you the robots guys at first it would be a hard kind of replacement not hard but it'll take a lot of businesses fail between the first one year five years of being in business they usually will come down falling about 80 percent of them so that being said it'll take you a long time to recover the the recoup your original investment for those robots in order to replace a human not knowing if your business going to fail or not and you got all this debt and if the business fail now you in all this debt with these robots so basically what i'm trying to say is at the entry price of these robots costing at first we talking a hundred thousand seventy-five, eighty thousand dollars for one of the competitors in the market that's doing robots it costs that amount that would make it more harder that would take so the average low-end income worker is making between 18 to 20 thousand 23 depending on the area maybe even 25 and some at mcdonald's and stuff a year that means that means in a robot eighty thousand dollars it would take 
about approximately four years in order to pay off that robot and replace them for the human. So that being said, with Tesla coming into play and having these $20,000 robots, because one to four years, if it took that time frame, it'd be a little bit more riskier for businesses that's just coming about because they don't know if their business is going to succeed or fail during that one to five year time period so with that being said guys now that tesla is coming in with the twenty thousand dollar robot that cuts the margin over well over like you know if that was eighty thousand dollars and now you're doing 20 that's like an 80 percent discount so 80 percent discount that's damn near you know close to 100 that's damn near like a no-brainer like basically i can buy a robot for twenty thousand dollars the best way to put this imagine me paying a worker guys <laughs> let me kill the game real quick for y'all show you how how crazy it's about to get and how much money and how trillionaires is going to be popping out of nowhere because imagine how much money these billion dollar companies spend on their employees every single year they spend in hundreds of millions of dollars imagine if that money was then turned into profit to where they could save it now these entities and businesses is making you know 50x, 10x, 30x, 20x, depending on how big the business is and how many people that was paying. Because some people got 30,000 employees. You do that times giving those people $2,000 a month, $3,000, $5,000 a month checks, 30,000 people. You do the math, how much money that is. But imagine when you can buy a robot, something you pay for one time. See, that human, they got to pay them every single year $25,000, dollars or whatever they, they're going to make in that year, right? That robot costs $20,000 one time. I pay for this robot one time. Of course, the people in the back, you're going to have mechanical problems and all that shit. Of course, I'd rather pay for that. That's just like a fucking car paid off. I got my car paid off, but of course, something might pop up on it. I got to handle. But you know how much money I'm saving on the back end? I ain't giving a damn what pop up on that mug because I'm saving so much money. Exactly. I don't care what pop up on a robot. That bitch got to get a new motor, a new head, a new heart. Whatever it got to get, I'm going to pay for it. Pay that. If it costs 20000 of course, the parts and stuff ain't going to be nothing about 10 percent five percent of what that cost it and possibly if it's a big problem just like the engine in a car it's probably be 50 percent of what the overall robot cost so no problem that robot is going to really cost over nine eight nine thousand dollars you get what i'm saying and by that time if i got to pay eight thousand nine thousand dollars so i'm gonna get a whole new robot brand new one but anyways guys what i'm saying is this robot for twenty thousand dollars is, is going to be able to goddamn make you so much money you pay for it one time and after that one year it paid for itself because that's the same amount of money you was going to pay somebody to work for you right and after that one year the second year the third year the fourth year the fifth year the sixth year seventh year the tenth year all the way up until eternity as you pass this uh business down to your kids and kids kids this is a free labor in business now basically free labor like because the robot is being paid for itself the first year when i bought them now everything is profit and i'm saving all that money if that don't make sense man hey i don't really care if it do or don't because that's just my thoughts man that's my thoughts that's how i feel i'm sharing it with you guys you know that's all it is if you ain't got nothing to do if you chilling and you want to come over here and kick it with Hayes. I'm just letting it out. So you already know, guys, that's all I got to say for this video. Just want to let you guys know my thought process on what's going on with that in the future. You know, if you like these type of videos, well, I don't care if you like them or not. I'm just documenting it, guys. You know, this is not really part of my uh, channel. So it probably could possibly even get 10 views. Cause you know, the haters like to say that. But I wouldn't even care because it ain't about that, guys. It's about doing what you like, doing what you love, and just posting. Posting whatever you want to post. We gone.